So I want to talk about a strange hip fire bug that I found. This is either a bug that was introduced recently, or even possibly, though doubtful, just something that Infinity Ward has changed without notice. In a video that Drifter posted November 5th, he mentions that the 1 milliwatt laser and Merc foregrip do not have any effect on the M4A1. However, I have observed a very clear and obvious effect when using these. Maybe they were bugged before and either patch 1.08 or 1.09 may have fixed them. If that's the case, then it's possible that fix had unintentional consequences. This video isn't about those attachments, however. Those attachments are doing what they claim. They improve your hipfire accuracy. The attachments that I'm referring to in this video are various barrels and the no stock attachment. None of these attachments have any hipfire modifiers at all. So I started tinkering around with the different barrels and they definitely had a different size hipfire spread. I was honestly confused because I haven't seen any mention of this mechanic anywhere and even Drifter neglected to mention it in his video. Perhaps because he only focused on attachments that explicitly stated they altered hipfire. There wasn't any reason to test them after all. Or perhaps the attachments that now alter hipfire didn't alter hipfire when he made that video. So let's get to what I started to immediately test. I jumped on with an M4 and took a screenshot of the hipfire spread without any attachments. And then I did the same thing with the M16 barrel. It significantly increased my hip fire spread. It made it much worse. The attachment doesn't tell you this information. If I could increase it with a long barrel, maybe a short barrel would reduce it and tighten up my hip fire. I threw on the commando barrel and sure enough it worked to reduce my hip fire spread. Although it wasn't as dramatic as the change I saw with the M16 barrel. The 5 milliwatt laser gives a pretty decent reduction, but if you add the Merc foregrip, no stock, and commando barrel, you get the absolute best hip fire possible. I tested quite a few other attachments, but I couldn't find any others that were having this effect. I haven't tested every single attachment though. I tested weapons from every category and found that they all have some sort of gain or loss in hip fire accuracy with certain barrels, and the no stock tends to reduce it for everything as well. I also have some concerns that this is also affecting shotguns in a way that is counter to their attachment's intent. For instance, the Tempest long barrel on the 725 would be increasing hip fire spread according to my findings, but the barrel itself is supposed to be tightening that spread. So I guess my question is, does this prevent the barrel from tightening that spread up as much as it should be? This could be doing something like negative 15% to reduce hip fire accuracy, and then plus 35% to increase hip fire accuracy to get us to 20% instead. When in reality, the attachment could be balanced to give us that 35%. Those numbers are completely made up, of course. That's not the actual hip fire accuracy. But hopefully you can understand my point. This is just an example of the consequences that could be happening. So that's going to be it for this short video. Your barrels are most likely affecting your hipfire, so take that into account when going for hipfire kills. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and actually might find it useful for completing those hipfire challenges. If you did, a like and subscribe is always appreciated. Leave a comment below, do join the conversation, and I'll see you next time.